are my how you doing ma'am good morning hey did you get any of our literature that we're passing out to the kids well no what i was gonna what i was gonna say this morning is so I, i'm sitting there and i'm driving by right and i'm thinking to myself if if we're leading as christians right uh-huh so are we leading by love are we leading by fear so tell me what what does fear what does that stand for does it stand for christ is is he does he put fear in people's lives yeah. that's what i'm saying yeah well you know what is what does jesus say what does the bible say that fear is the beginning of wisdom fearing the lord is the beginning of wisdom so like can you imagine as a community the number one cause of death is child sacrifice if you look through the bible what does god do to nations believers of his followers jewish people what has he done to those nations in the bible that don't make abortion illegal that don't oppose it like your name is five or in jeremiah you know but at the same time just think about this it's supposed to be one-on-one -on -one. we're all sinners right it doesn't mean that one thing's right or wrong right. we're all sinners so if you were to stand before christ right now what would well, i don't think you meant to say I'm, no, no, nothing's I'm right saying, or wrong right you're not saying that i'm not what i'm saying i'm not saying that what i'm right. saying is we have to think about educating kids and educating people in a different way it's coming right. from love it's coming right. from from the light right it's not coming right. from scaring them because how can you but we are shining the light on right. we are shining the light on this because this is legal and it's the number one cause of death and one out of three I, of these girls are going to have an abortion but they're not being educated properly in other words what are you right. doing? Do you think fear right. stops people? So from the doing parents things? parents need to educate them properly. But right? How, you, how are they gonna be educated if you're just standing out with the sign? Well they are educated because they do go on Facebook, they do look at it, they do talk to us. We've handed out tens of thousands of these. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the kids are reading them. Girls are coming up to me and saying, Hey, I have two girlfriends who are pregnant and both of them are gonna have abortions and now they're not going to have the abortions, you know? So I do understand, trust me, I do understand yeah. about the abortion thing at the same time. It's like you have little kids, yeah. you have little kids, and you think about, think about what kids see, like-, like I have little like, kids, these are my kids. Okay. I have I have six, I have nine kids, six of them uh, we adopted out of foster care. And, that, and, and that's wonderful, that's, that's amazing, that's a good thing, but what I'm saying is, for the kids that maybe made this choice, and now they're right. they're leading in fear. They're going to school in fear. How are they going in fear? Like not one kid maybe, walking by is in one fear. Of them, maybe one of them had an abortion. Right, but even if they had an abortion, right. all right, what's the fear? What's the fear part of it? Because what if they don't know Christ, right? Well, then what they need to do is this showing is this showing Christ's love. It just says children are a gift of the Lord. Right, right. right. That's what the sign says. Yeah. It does, but it's not showing. Like what he does, like what is the right. example? What did he do for right. us? Like, so what these kids need to do, the Christian kids, all right, who hopefully they won't grow up as evil and wicked as their parents because 43 years abortion has been legal and goes unopposed, right? Parents aren't doing anything to stop it. Those are words of wickedness right there, saying that people are wicked. No, wicked, right. Wicked people sinners. allow we're this. Uh, wicked people sacrifice their children. Repentant people so when get God restored. sacrificed his son, uh -huh. was God wicked? When he sacrificed no. his son no. for our sins, was no. he wicked? No, but that's not what people are doing. People aren't sacrificing their children because they're good and doing it to save um, humanity or to save somebody. Like, there's nothing greater a person can do than lay down their life. It doesn't say there's nothing greater someone can do than lay down their child's life. That's, that's not what's going on here. God laid down... Jesus was the sacrifice. Yes. So we don't have For to our sacrifice sinners. our children. Because we were sinners. Right. So we don't have to sacrifice our children because we want to better our education. Because we only want three kids. Because we don't want four girls. So we sacrifice the, the one girl because that's totally illegal. Because if you have a girl, you don't want a girl, you can sacrifice her because you want to have boys, you know? So those sacrifices are wicked and an abomination in the sight of the Lord right so what happens is christians here need to actually when when a girl gets upset needs to talk to her and share christ's exactly, love with her but this isn't this isn't the way is what i'm trying to say right. this isn't the way by people coming by what i'm trying to tell you is if we're leading an example of christ we are coming from love we are trying to help them. this we're is love to, who gets is, who gets to be the voice for this child in other words brother you take your own plank out of your eye because right. you're not seeing I, you're not right. seeing that we're all 
Right. Sinners, the man, Bible man, says, God. take the plank out of your eye before you help remove yeah. the speck of your, of your brothers, right? Yes. So basically, I have removed the plank. Mm -hmm. I have adopted kids that are abandoned, all right? I I've repented awesome. of being apathetic towards these kids. And so now I'm trying to help remove the speck. Like, nobody cares. These people, the kids, for the most part, don't How care. Do you know they don't care? Because it's the number care. one cause of death in Texas. It's rampant. Like, if you could actually see what the 60 million... Fear. fear kills. No, disobedience to God kills. Alright? Yes, but I'm saying, in other words, I, I, and your children should be loved upon and they should they be are an loved example. Upon. I know, but I'm saying they should be an example of love and knowing that when we, go, when we go out that there's, there's children we, when we face every morning. There could be somebody that just got murdered. Maybe right. there, there's so right. many things. That's true. Right? Yeah. So all I'm saying is just, just and I will pray for you mm -hmm. because I want you to see that maybe there's another way. It doesn't mean that this is wrong. It doesn't mean that Well, how about if I do it your way? How do you do it? How do you expose... I think the, that you go and maybe talk to the school. No, no, no. How do you do it? How do I do it? Yeah, I'm saying how do you do it? I'm not saying what are all your ideas that you've never implemented. Yeah. I'm saying how do you work to make abortion illegal? How do you save these girls from having abortions and having to deal with that the rest of their life and hate men because nobody supported them because um, they killed their own child? Because a mother doesn't want to kill her own child, you know? But when society is so unloving and uncaring towards these girls, okay, that's... But that's what you're showing right now. You don't care about the girls that well, made these I, choices. No, I do. Of course I do. Well, that's what, but that's not what they're going to think when they drive by. What, it's, what, it, what it portrays to me as, I'm just saying from my person, when right. I drive by, what I see is hate. I don't see the love of Christ. I don't see this. This is what I'm saying from my right. personal opinion. So every time we see the Jewish Holocaust or we go to the Jewish Holocaust Museum, we're seeing hate. That, that, that's what you're saying. The people that have put on the Holocaust Museum, they're, those are hateful people. Or um, the people that opposed slavery and showed pictures of black men being hung and whipped, that was hate. Or Because, yes, because no, we're, what? we're supposed to show love and that we're all one. So all the people dying in the Vietnam War and the pictures on Time Magazine, that was all, Time Magazine was being hateful and those hippies that were trying to expose the evil of war, that they were all hateful people? I'm not saying that they were hateful. What I'm saying is there has to be a better way. In other words, there has to be 43 work. years of apathy from people just like you, just like you, that have allowed over 60 million babies to be it's murdered in allowing. Texas. It's it not is allowing. too. Not opposing is permission. It's not true. No. It, it, look, if a girl was getting raped over there, and you and I sat here and said, "Yeah, I'm against rape. Rape's wrong." I you and I would be guilty. To that per right. To that person, it is an act. Right. An act of but that's love. not what you're doing. It's you're not doing that. Love. You're not doing that. All these babies are being murdered. There'll be sixty thousand murdered just in Texas. How are you going and trying to stop that from happening? You're not. And my job is to spread the love. It is to spread the love, and through love, well, it. it this baby does not appreciate your attempt to save its life. It doesn't. All I'm saying is, what does love do? It trumps all evil. It trumps all of Not us. your love. Your love would let somebody get raped or let this no, baby get killed and not oppose it. Because you all of a sudden got defensive because you know there's a little part of you because Jesus is love and light. And it, through, I'm just saying. Right. I'm just I, I understand saying. what you're saying. And you cannot not oppose evil mean, you're not opposing evil you're just saying look we just need to be love what does christianity look like in a town where child sacrifice is the number one cause of death the bible all through the bible says to judge rightly yes. okay not don't judge that is a total liberal anti-christ viewpoint we are supposed to judge that's why we have judges you know that's why we have you know that's why when your kids lie to you you say no, you should not lie because you're judging whether they're sinning or not. This baby, we should make a judgment. Should this be legal? You would say, oh, no, we don't judge people. You know, no, that's wrong. That's a wrong, bad biblical view. We're supposed to, the Bible says we're supposed to defend the innocent. We're supposed to, woe to you who make iniquitous decrees, make yes. bad laws. We're supposed to expose evil. We're supposed to hold back those that are being um, um, taken to slaughter. All right. We're supposed to be a voice for the voiceless. All right. Jesus says, in, or God says in Amos 5, it says, though your prayers be many, I will not hear them. Though your Though your, uh, your your praises and your songs, they're detestable to me. 
your festivals i hate them you know who he's talking to he was talking to followers of god who allowed child sacrifice in their in their midst and didn't oppose it he says first bring justice to the land for the orphan and the widow and then bring your praises and your sacrifices to me all right we're a, we're a million times worse than the people that god was talking about right there a million times worse we've slaughtered in texas 60,000 kids every year way worse this than them we're texas. worse than this sodom and everywhere. gomorrah this is yeah. this is everywhere right. it's not just texas so what i got before and this is what i when i moved here my my theory was this right mm -hmm. that are we going to throw a rock in the lake and be a ripple of fear and and hatred and judging and all these things is that what we're going to be or are we going to throw a rock in the lake and be a ripple of love and light and later on it won't be our doing it's god's doing that he will work through us in order to bring the love and light to others and that they will see in right other that's words, a good new age philosophy it's, it's not biblical not why don't we just do what the bible says why don't we just do what the bible says all right it says to expose evil it says to expose it. It says to oppose it. But would you bring this in, into the church? Would you bring this We do this all the, the time in front of churches. Saying, Logan and Aiden, no, no. on. Inside the church, I'm saying. Yeah, I would bring totally this. bring it. What is the church? The church is you, you and me. Mm -hmm. All right, it is not a building. It's not no holy ground, yes. right? So I don't even know what you're talking about. Would I bring all this into I'm the church? All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is the body of Christ, right? That's what we're supposed yeah. to be living by. Right, right. And, and we can't live on our own. Right, right. right. All I'm saying is just just try to look at it from a, another standpoint. Right. I understand. All we people. need is love. We do. do, 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 do. All we true. need is love. You're right. Love. Love, love is all we need. But I'll tell you what, everything. if someone was raping your child, mm -hmm. all right, you wouldn't be singing them a Beatles song. This is an action. In other words, if, if there's something there and I was put there like I believe I am put many times, in, in something right god leads us to places right, right? i agree yeah. so therefore you would be there at that time in other words just like a preacher walking by and, and he could have helped this person and we right. do this on a daily basis why don't we help we, these babies why don't we do do you do anything whatsoever to help make this illegal anything there are many causes that i i look at homeless i look at veterans i look yeah, at but, all different things but we are humans we're created we, in the image of god God says that only he has dominion over us. We should not, as a society, allow this to happen. We should oppose it. How can you, like, say, well, there's many causes. If they were killing, like, women over 30, you'd be like, you would do something about it. Like, if 30 was the age limit, you would do something about it. You would, like, stand with other women. I, I, would, not, I would not stand out because, to me, when, when you stand out, in other words, you you do things in, in, in secret. In other words, the things that I do, it's not because others are seeing. I am leading a certain way, but it's because I don't want, I've, I'm brought to a place at a certain time and a certain individual at that time. And it's almost like, and so I'm not on Facebook, I'm not on Instagram, I'm not in, on any social media because I believe that God puts me in a place at a certain time and it's to, to speak with that individual or understand where they're coming from. Right. It's understanding. And then later on, I will think about it and I will pray right. about it. And, and that's what's happening here, right? And I say, woe to you to know and to understand that the number one cause of death in, in our city, in our state, is child sacrifice and you don't do anything about it. And woe to you. And fear. And what do you mean fear? You, you'll understand. You will understand that part. <laughs> So I'm saying, I'm woe saying. to you. All right, well, I will you. Because we don't need just love. We need to be obedient to God. All right?